so the sodomy happened and therefore he was uh, put behind bars for six years uh-huh. all right and then the second time around obviously there was a second time around with uh, the appeal the appeal right yeah. and he was uh, not uh, guilty of that it's not not guilty the sodomy so took place but the one of the judges think that it was not fit, uh, safe to put him behind bars not safe to put him behind bars because because, because of because of the trail of uh, evidence the trail of uh, i mean uh, the the facts uh, of the case it is not safe but none deny that the sodomy happened that's why you have to read the full judgment so as far as you are concerned and amno is concerned the sodomy did happen yes of course it's of not course. not us or concern is the judgment the judgment yeah. uh, thinks that there is a sodomy case and obviously your belief so too definitely we have to base we have to base our belief on the fact sure unless we want to hear from non factual things but the judgment of the judge says that uh, he's not guilty so therefore yeah. he's not guilty he is not guilty because because of technical things but the sodomy took place but is not guilty not guilty. So therefore, he didn't do it. Yeah, because in no. law, it's either black or white. It's so te- he's not it's guilty. It's technically, technically not safe to put him behind bars. But the all the all the judges. Is it more dangerous to leave Anwar out in the open? If you are, you are gay, yeah, maybe I think so. You think so? Huh? Yeah. Are you one? No, I'm straight. So you're definitely certain that he is gay. <laughs> Will you be able to have a sense of? Your gay radar that he is gay? I think Saifu knows better. Saifu knows better. Yeah. Saifu is bisexual or is he is I, he uh, I don't know. I've never be friend to them. Because he just got married that's why uh, I asked the question. I was not friend to him. I'm not close to him. I think Papa you, Gumo knows better. You seem very certain about a lot of things like yeah, because Anwar I read being, a lot. Yeah. Like <laughs> Anwar being gay, Anwar being homosexual, he he was he's guilty mm. of sodomy you seem very very sure yeah. about all this because Why? i read judgment How i read this? the judgment the full judgment mm. some people don't read the full judgment mm-hmm. then they based on their they are based their decision based on perception something i've always wanted to find out mm. do you think the deputy prime minister is uh, planning a whole entire game plan to take down dr sri najib and uh, there is a real big mastermind behind the whole game to decide who is going to be the prime minister yeah, and who's not to be because all the factions that that's actually because i really feel that was really achieve Amno. actually with his one tran- with his transformation plan it was actually a very good plan for malaysia but somehow or another if you read the online campaigns and the hasutan it seems that he has a very bad pr team working for him he's working against him mm-hmm. so is that really an internal team that's really trying to take him down No, I think back to the advisors that he have. Uh, I mean, he has uh, around him. Uh, I think the, the prime minister. I know? think the prime minister has done a very good job. Uh, I think we agree that his uh, administration has delivered a lot, a lot more than. I, I agree. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. But mm. even though he has worked so hard, and mm-hmm. whole campaign was pretty much on Datuk Seri Najib being the one Malaysian champion, and he's been going everywhere. But somehow, if you go online, I'm sure you are well aware because you're so well read mm. that there's so much against him. Even on his own personal Facebook, everyone seems to be there to hunt down him. And so I feel that yeah. there's someone internally trying to do all these things. And you know, adding to that, he has like um, about two million uh, mm-hmm. followers mm-hmm. on Twitter, yeah. and one point five million. Yeah, one point five and to two million and. People are saying that even these followers are ghosts followers. No, it's not ghost followers. For me, you can't stop people from following you. You don't know who follows you. So I think uh, if you, your accusation that there is a conspiration. No, I'm not accusing. I'm asking a question. Oh, okay. In regards to because I feel for him. No, he, he works no, so after, hard. He go around the country. Yeah, no, after election. After election, they had, uh, it's good actually. It's good because people have different opinion, and we celebrate the differences of, of opinion. So in Amno, I think I believe there are some people who are not happy in terms. They thought that uh, the Barisan Nasional should uh, go harder in certain things, but I think uh, there are also some quarters in Amno who said that uh, um, uh, the Tok Sri Najib has done very well. The one that has not done very well was the component party, especially the Chinese-based component. So party. are we saying the MC in Gerakan should leave Barisan Nasional because no, they seem to no. be much more of a burden? No, I think they have problems and they need uh, they need uh, they need to be uh, some improvement, some uh, transformation in the party. They have to engage more 
to the especially the Chinese uh, the Chinese uh, community and they ha- cannot play the AP game and having said that they have to engage more with their own communities but there are quarters saying that it's also because of AMNO because AMNO is very dominant and has not given much to uh, its uh, component party members uh-huh. like MCA and MIC yeah and I think, it's because I think on of the this, opposite that's why they are losing support I think on the opposite the Malays feel the same they think that that Najib has not given uh, much uh, space uh, for them and give too much space to the component Sorry, parties. Sorry, how much do the Malays want Are from AMNO? Mm-hmm. How much do the Malays want? Malays? How much want? space? Space in since terms of... Since you just of, mentioned that. Yeah, since yeah. you just mentioned, you we said that... We have 89s, 88 uh, seats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they want more? No, I think they have... They have uh, th- there are certain areas where you see that uh, the... Uh, PR strategy is to put a uh, candidate based on race. Mm. Uh, for instance, in the quota seat, purposely, Pakatan put uh, Malays in the Malay dominant area uh, to face uh, up in uh, Chinese from MCA uh, in the area. But what has what what is wrong with that? It's not about uh, a Chinese it or shows, Malay or it, Indian. It shows that PR still stick to the no, racial no, no. politics. Is, is there a reason whether it's a Malay representing a Malay community, or shouldn't we be looking past that, looking at Dr. No, Sri Lanka as a Malay representing issue. Malaysians? It was the issue because uh, in the Malay dominant area, the the the, the sentiment being played by PR was uh, against the Chinese candidate from MC. But if you look at the whole entire idea of one Malaysia mm-hmm. is the idea that it does not matter whether it's an MCA representative or I'm yeah, that's why that's why um, MCA can win in the Malay majority constituency but they lost well, they can win also you see uh, they separate we cast young we cast young won it was the only MCA person that really won with quite significant very slim margins, majority right? but he and still won it shows which? that that shows that uh, MCA candidate can win in Malay dominant uh, I mean constituent but not the AP DAP cannot win in Malay constituency. No. Based on allegations that there was election fraud in all these areas, where uh, Barisa National what candidates uh, won by razor thin majority. What fraud? Uh, fraud. Bangladesh's of voters. Cheating, <laughs> double, you know, indelible voting. Eggs. Yeah, indelible. Indelible. Eggs. Eggs. Can you prove that uh, someone can uh, vote the more than twice? No, no. It's not about voting more, more than, than one twice. time. More than the one time. was meant to be. Existed for seven days. Yes, but there are also other control measures. Correct, but now we are not talking about other measures. So, so but but the, but the idea is, the indelible link is for for to control that no um, one person cannot vote more than one time. Correct. So for that purpose, so there's no double voting. Yes, yeah. that's but why. That's why objective. you have other process. Then why do we bother having indelible link in the first because place? Because the the opposition asks it so uh, so much. If they ask it so much, shouldn't when we agree on something that is meant to mm-hmm. last for seven days, it should last seven days. Yeah. On but my it finger, it lasts. It lasts on your finger. Uh, yeah. Really? Yes. Okay. I personally went and voted myself, and it really just came off the night after. Maybe, maybe internal sabotage. Maybe they don't use it very well. They do, they didn't shake the bottle. I don't know. So there could be many reasons, but bottom line is they made a bad decision by getting the indelible ink. Is that what we're saying? I'm saying that it's not necessary because we have control measures. Yeah, but if it's if, not necessary, it shouldn't be put in place. What about the blank out? But even even what even the if it, 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 there is an indelible yeah. ink. Still, there are control measures with the polling agent, etc. That um, no, uh, one person cannot vote them of one more time. That's why we will talk about that yeah. in time to come. But now, why, yeah, okay. why and then there, there were blackouts. There sure. were blackouts which and, area? and, and all this, on all this phantom. Which, which area? Uh, Qatari? Vote. Qatari? Qatari? Yeah. SMD? Yeah. No, there is no such thing as blackout in Qatari. Yeah. The Even the Bento. <coughs> no, in the, AP, the assembly men denied already, and he regretted that uh, the social media. I mean, so-called cyber troopers play it so widely that uh, and accuse SPR of, uh, I mean, uh, of uh, doing fraud. So, are you saying the SPR did not do any fraud? They were clean and they were rightfully. Are they doing independent? They, yes, they are, they they are taken to trial. They are yeah. Then why did Barisa National file fifty petitions? Fifty petitions because of the those uh, PR uh, supporters uh, violate the, the law and regulation. So you were not filing petitions because EC is the one who violated the law. That no, EC because it's not efficient, and not that efficient is why because sometimes, sometimes, these you, sometimes. Let's say, happened. no. Let's say when you, when Anwar said that there 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 were forty thousand Bangla ones to vote uh, in the in the election, and all the Chinese DAP DAP Chinese start to uh, I mean uh, prevent people from uh, voting, and that is a violation to to the law. 
So it's not the inefficiency of the EC that did not no. do preparations enough to ensure this was not going to happen. This is that's why I say this is based on lie. When people lie, you have us, you have to disturb every uh, authority to come and investigate on one lie. Uh, I mean, the, the, the supporters uh, prevent people from voting, then because of that, EC has to be there, police has to be there, and uh, when uh, they uh, hit and kick the, the, the voter, and he has to be hospitalized, then the medical officer also has to attend to him, because only one lie, because someone said that 40,000 Bangla is going to vote in Malaysia election. I put it to you, um, we've, we've just got about a few, well actually, we, we need to wrap up the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. So fast. So therefore, time oh, we, but we so put it. Minutes. Uh, wow. Yeah. But we put it to you that there are these um, attempts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm no. Um, to demonize and destroy the AP. That's one allegation. No. No. I um, think. I think that is uh, not an attempt. I think we just merely uh, saying the fact that this uh, army was there. This army has been lying. But they this army are. Has, has they are denying. They are denying, but are denying. it the comes from it comes from denying. their their ex uh, members. Uh, he, I mean, Lin Kim Siang can sh uh, can sue uh, Shen Yi Aung. Lin Kim Siang can sue Tunku Aziz. Why didn't he do so? That means the army was there, and it doesn't come from us because because of the friction between the two groups, then it start leaking out, and it's good for us because now we start monitoring the the Facebook. It's in Mandarin, but but Facebook can be translated. I do have one question that I want to ask. I'm sure a lot of the uh, viewers would also like to know. Uh, as far as you're concerned, will there be a change of guard as far as the UMNO leadership? I hope not so. I hope uh, Dr. Najib will maintain as president. Uh, Mohidin will be uh, the deputy. And this, most of it is status quo because I think we want to work and we want to work harder to win the next election. So a lot of people are saying that he would probably do better without um, Dr. Mahathir and his <laughs> wife on the sidelines. Do you agree to that? Oop. This is what people are saying. I know, oops. oops. <laughs> oops. Okay, uh, we'll need to wrap up the show. Thank you so much, Tun Faisal, for joining us and Thank being brave enough <laughs> to come on board. Thank you so much, yeah. Ernie, Ernie Thank Chen, our you. resident guest. And to all of you who have been watching, we have been talking to Tun Faisal. And he is, well, he's very active on Twitter, actually. He's got about 200 over 250,000 250, followers. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Faisal.